The college soccer world is taking over Charlottesville as both the men and women are hosting the NCAA tournament. We'll start with the women whose only loss this season came from Virginia Tech in the ACC tournament. Tonight they're facing conference rival Wake Forest. It was chilly out there at Clackner Stadium. Fans all bundled up for this one. Virginia had the edge in play in the first half but didn't have anything to show for it. Here's a nice chance for Morgan Bryan but she's denied. We have a scoreless game at halftime. Just seconds into the second half, the Who's would draw first blood. It's Alexis Schapper with the ball here on the wing. Her crossing pass deflects off the post and right to Mackenzie. Doniak, Doniak buries it. Her team leading 19th goal of the year. Cavaliers are up 1-0. Just over two minutes later, the Who's strike again. Daniel Colaprico with the pass up ahead to Schaffer. Schaffer with another nice centering pass. Morgan Bryan puts it in the back of the net. Her 15th goal of the season. That's all the Cavaliers needed. Virginia wins it 2-0, advancing to the NCAA quarterfinals. Here, um, start to finish. Virginia will host Michigan in the quarterfinals Friday at 7 o'clock. After claiming the eighth seed and a first round bye, the Virginia men's soccer team is facing St. John's in the second round. When UVA played St. John's in the regular season, they beat them two to nothing. Let's see if they can do it again. 35th minute, Eric Bird with a centering pass to Ryan Zekin. Sick header right there. That's his fourth goal of the season. The Cavaliers led one to nothing at halftime. 64th minute now, Scott Thompson on the corner kick. Doesn't get much prettier than this. Bird heads it past the Red Storm goalie to ice the Cavs 2-0 win over St. John's. Virginia earns a spot in the round of 16 for the first time since 2009 and will face Marquette next Sunday. The guys say the win feels good after falling to Maryland 1-0 in the ACC championship. All week in practice and professional. Let's head over to John Paul Jones Arena where the 15th ranked Virginia wrestling team is battling it out with 8th ranked Virginia Tech. UVA is leading 12 to 7 in the 165 pound class. It's Virginia's Nick Solser. He gets the gnarly takedown right there against the Hokies. Chris Moon also beaten 20 to 8 by major decision. The Hokies kept it tight, but the Cavaliers upset Tech. 19 to 16. Virginia Volleyball also took on Virginia Tech at Memorial Gym. The Hokies barely won the first set 25 to 23, but the Hoos would fire back. UVA junior Tori Janowski will slam down the spike right here. Cavaliers won the second game 25 to 19 to tie the match. Later, Virginia's Megan Beckwith sets up sophomore Kennedy McGrath perfectly. She's like, uh-uh, you guys aren't coming back. UVA goes on to beat Tech 3-1. to one. This marks their first season sweep over the Hokies since 2009. The Virginia women's basketball team suffered a 68-58 road loss to West Virginia. The Cavs fall to 3-2 on the season. In the Cavaliers' 45-26 loss to Miami, Grayson Lambert outshined starting quarterback David Watford, raising the question, who's the right guy for the job? With the game out of reach on Saturday, the redshirt freshman Grayson Lambert made the most of his opportunity. He completed 13 of 18 passes for 134 yards and looked more comfortable than he has in previous games. UVA football is coming off their second bye week of the season and looking to snap a seven game losing streak as they hit the road to face Miami. But hey, the Cavs have won three straight games against Miami and the last game between these two teams was a thriller. Virginia's Michael Rocco tossed a 10 yard pass to Jake McGee in the back of the end zone with six seconds left to beat Miami 41 to 40 last year. Mike London and his two and eight Cavaliers are just desperate for a win. First play of the game, David Watford gets intercepted by Tracy Howard. Howard takes the ball 19 yards for the touchdown off the pick six. Canes lead seven to nothing. Still in the first quarter, Cavs trailing 14 to three now. Kevin Parks looking to change that. That awesome move right there will get him a touchdown and it'll cut the deficit to four. Late in the half, it's 14 to 13 Miami and this was a killer. Virginia driving, but it's another Watford interception. The Darius Gunter puts on the wheels and returns it the other way. He would be tackled down at the two yard line. Miami scored moments later to take a 21-13 halftime lead. Fourth quarter now, Virginia answers. It's Watford. He hits Taquan Mizell deep in the end zone. The freshman scores his first career touchdown. Now the Hoos are only down by nine, but the Cavaliers had four turnovers today. Three off the arm of David Watford. That interception right there. Cavs drop their eighth straight to Miami as they lose 45 to 26. This is their longest skid since 1975. Marty Hutloff has more from Sun Life Stadium. David Watford threw three interceptions. And 
The Virginia men's basketball team is squaring off with Liberty for the first time since 2008. The 3-1 Cavs are bringing it on offense this year. Virginia is the only ACC team with its five leading scorers all shooting 50% or better. Here's a kill Mitchell killing it, getting ready for the game right there. The Wahoos had five three-pointers in the first half alone, which is more than they've had in a game all season long. Justin Anderson put away two of them. Liberty kept it tight, though, in the first half as UVA only led by six at the break. No worries, though, you know. Everyone take a seat. You've been invited to the UVA dunk party. London Barantes connects with Mitchell for the alley-oop. Who's are up? 38 to 26. The Cavaliers went on a 20 and 0 run in the second half. Anderson gets scrappy for the offensive rebound here. Kicks it to Mitchell. He takes another trip to Dunk City. Cavs are up 44 to 31. Now it's UVA's Anthony Gill. Whoop! That's two of his team high 13 points. Virginia slams past Liberty 75 to 53. You got Joe passing up shots a good shot. Both the men's and women's soccer teams will take over Clockner Stadium tomorrow as the Cavaliers play host in the NCAA tournament. At 1 p.m., the men's team will take on St. John's in the second round of the tournament. The top-seeded Virginia women's soccer team advanced to the third round with a one to nothing victory over Georgetown. Last night, the Cavaliers will meet ACC rival Wake Forest on Sunday. And the weather is supposed to drop down to the 30s, but women's head coach Steve Swanson says, hey, bring it on. You're moving so much, it doesn't really matter. To yeah, and then they'll have that mm -hmm. adrenaline going, so I think yeah, they'll be they okay. Get through the cold.